Item Number SCP-2135 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures As SCP-2135 is located in a highly trafficked area, isolated containment of SCP-2135 is not feasible at this time. Instead, Foundation agents will work with the New York City Metropolitan Transportation Authority, or MTA, to prevent unauthorized access to SCP-2135 by civilians. SCP-2135 is currently closed to the public and inaccessible by conventional means. As such, this is considered to be a reasonable request that does not require excessive coercion on the part of the Foundation. The interior of SCP-2135 is to be monitored via closed-circuit camera, but as it is plainly visible to civilians traveling within the New York City subway system, Foundation personnel are discouraged from directly guarding SCP-2135's interior. Any incursions into SCP-2135-B are to be conducted by D-Class personnel under the supervision of Foundation researchers. Direct incursion into SCP-2135-B by researchers requires the approval of the current Region 38A, New York City, Long Island, Director. D-Class personnel entering SCP-2135-B must adhere to the following restrictions. No items manufactured after February 1959, including clothing, recording equipment, entertainment media, etc., may be taken into SCP-2135-B. When interacting with instances of SCP-2135-C, personnel must avoid using words or phrases that were not commonly used prior to 1959, for example, hippie, wicked, etc. No more than 24 hours may be spent inside of SCP-2135-B. Description SCP-2135 is the former 91st Street Station, a station of the New York City subway system located in Manhattan. Prior to its closure in February of 1959, SCP-2135 was served by the 1 and 2 trains of the IRT Broadway to 7th Avenue line, bounded by the 96th Street Station to the north and the 86th Street Station to the south. SCP-2135 was closed after platform expansion on the 96th Street Station rendered it impractical to continue servicing it. SCP-2135's anomalous properties manifest twice a week, at unpredictable intervals. During this time, a train car, which varies by make and model but is always a car that was in use by the New York City subway system during or prior to 1959, hereafter SCP-2135-A, will stop at the station for approximately 15 seconds. SCP-2135-A is only perceivable to those standing on the subway platform at the time it arrives. Non-anomalous trains in service will pass through it as if it were not there, and passengers on those trains are unable to perceive SCP-2135-A's presence as they pass through it. Should any subject board the train during this time, they will remain in a state of transit for approximately 15 minutes and will be unable to exit the train. No other passengers are present on board the train, nor is a conductor. After 15 minutes have elapsed, the train will come to a halt, and subjects will arrive within SCP-2135-B. SCP-2135-B is a replica of the island of Manhattan as it appeared on February 1, 1959. Persons, events, and buildings present in Manhattan during this time are all replicated in a nearly identical fashion within SCP-2135-B, with the following exceptions. Persons present inside of Manhattan during this time are replaced by instances of SCP-2135-C, see below. All written material present inside of SCP-2135-B, including advertisements, books, newspapers, etc., consists solely of the words SAFE WORLD, repeated over and over in capital letters. Subway stations other than the 91st Street Station are inaccessible to all subjects. Instead, an instance of SCP-2135-C guards each subway station entrance, remaining still while holding a sign with the word security written on it. Subjects attempting to enter these stations will be forcefully impeded from doing so by the SCP-2135-C instance. 
Any area beyond the island of Manhattan is rendered inaccessible by a white void surrounding the entire island. Subjects attempting to leave Manhattan will be blocked by an impermeable barrier. SCP-2135-C instances leaving Manhattan will appear to vanish into the void. Likewise, SCP-2135-C instances entering Manhattan appear to spontaneously emerge from it. Subjects universally report perceiving SCP-2135-B as monochromatic. SCP-2135-C are faceless humanoid entities that inhabit SCP-2135-B. SCP-2135-C instances lack eyes, noses, and mouths, but otherwise are replicas of people that were in Manhattan on February 1st, 1959. All SCP-2135-C instances carry with them a blank white canvas board and a marker. If in a car or other vehicle, they will have one within close proximity of them. Despite their lack of facial features, SCP-2135-C instances appear capable of sight and scent, and can interact with subjects if prompted via the blank canvas boards, albeit only one or two words at a time. See interview log below. Should a subject enter SCP-2135-B with any items that were manufactured after February 1959, or exhibit speech patterns or other mannerisms anachronistic to the period upon exiting 91st Street Station, SCP-2135-C instances will stop in place and continually stare at the subject until they leave. While SCP-2135-C instances do not exhibit any hostile intent, subjects will generally express a strong desire to leave if SCP-2135-C instances enter this state, citing discomfort and unease. Subjects may leave SCP-2135-B by returning down the 91st Street Station entrance. SCP-2135-A will appear within 10 minutes and will return the subject to baseline reality. After 24 hours have passed within SCP-2135-B, Footnote 1. 91st Street Station was closed on February 2nd, 1959, as it is within SCP-2135-B. The 91st Street Station will be closed, and subjects will be unable to leave SCP-2135-B. Although said reports remain unconfirmed, and the similarities may be superficial or coincidental. SCP-2135-C Interview Log Date, August 23, 2007 Baseline Time Test Subject, D-3425 29 years old, Caucasian female Equipment Outfitted Handheld Audio Recorder, circa 1956 Period appropriate clothing, notepad, and two pencils, both manufactured circa 1958. Notes To avoid shocking or upsetting D3425, thus potentially making data collection problematic, the subject was informed of the nature of SCP 2135 B beforehand. Subject is instructed to find the nearest SCP-2135-C instance and engage it in conversation, taking care to avoid using contemporary jargon and transcribe the responses produced via the canvas board. Subject was given a list of pre-approved questions, but was given permission to deviate from the list if necessary. D-3425 exits 91st Street Station into SCP-2135-B. After several moments, she approaches an instance of SCP-2135-C resembling a Caucasian female in her mid to late 30s. D-3425 Um, hello? SCP-2135-C instance via canvas board and marker. Query. Footnote 2. Subsequent tests have revealed that all SCP-2135-C instances begin conversations with the word query. What exactly is this place? Safe world. Um, okay. Why is this place here? Who made it? Protection. Protector. But why did you need to be protected? Escape gone. What do you mean by escape? Escape. But what are you trying to escape from, exactly? Light world. What's the light world? Your world. Why do you need to escape, or, or get into, or whatever, our world? Balance. Okay, um, 
Why do you allow us into your world? Practice. Practice? For what? Reset. SCP-2135-C instance refuses to respond to any further queries. Other instances also refuse to communicate with D-3425. D-3425 enters 91st Street Station and returns to Baseline. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Tannis Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.